Today's food of thought comes from the 62nd chapter of Isaiah, verse 6 and 7, which reads, I have set watchmen on your walls, O Jerusalem. They shall never hold their peace day or night. You who make mention of the Lord, do not keep silent and give him no rest till he establishes and till he makes Jerusalem a praise in the earth. I asked the question in my sermon, do you hear what I hear? about whether or not you, the sincere believer, the one who has been attentive to the word of God, I asked, do you know that you have been appointed as a watchman of God? Yes, this scripture, it was directed to those of Israel, but I want you to understand that all of us who are of sincere faith, we all have been commissioned by Christ. We have been commissioned to go out unto all people and to share the good news of God's gospel. Do you see what the Lord has said to you today as a watchman of his? A watchman, you should understand, that is one that would be posted along the walls to keep watch for any sign of danger. God, he tells us that we as his watchmen, we should never hold our peace day or night. We should be sounding the alarm today for quite a few things. First, we should be sounding the alarm about the birth and the life of Christ. We should be sounding the alarm about the salvation given to the world through the only begotten Son of God. We should be sounding the alarm that Christ is coming again. Lastly, we should be sounding the alarm that God is going to punish sin and the sinner. You and I, as the Lord said, we should not keep silent about these things. Why shouldn't we keep silent? Well, we shouldn't keep silent because our warning can save the lives of several people. As James said in his letter, those who turn a sinner from the error of his way will save a soul from death and cover a multitude of sin. Our role as watchmen is of great importance. So I say to you today, don't ever hold your peace. Don't ever keep silent when you are able to save the soul of another. I hope my thought for today has given you something to think about. And I hope that it will encourage you, that it will uplift you, and that it will motivate you as well. Be sure that you share this thought with someone somewhere. And if you haven't already done so, make sure that you're following this channel so that you can always receive my next food for thought.